Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to look at a very cool project called Screensort to Code. It has been you know, the talk of the town right now. If you open LinkedIn or if you open X earlier Twitter, you'll find out people talking about Screensort to Code. I just wanted to cover that quickly, that how you can use this tool, you know, this beautiful tool to generate a piece of code or the code for your, you know, the mockups, the apps or whatever have, uh, you have in your mind, right? You can, you have some screen grabs, you can just upload the screen grabs or the screenshots and it will generate a code for you. It will generate the code for that particular design that you want to upload. And if you look at here, it says, uh, by it's by Abby, uh, the huge credit, you know, all the credit goes to him is based out of San Francisco, as you can see it out over here. And it says a screenshot to code. This simple app converts a screenshot to HTML Tailwind CSS. Okay, so it, it gets even the Tailwind CSS, uh, which has a lot of abstract classes. So you do not have to write a lot of code. Okay, so this is the stack that it generates the codes. And then you have, it says it uses GPT-4 Vision. So it uses the latest of the OpenAI models that's called GPT-4 Vision, which is a multimodal model to generate the code and DALI-3 to generate similar looking images. Now it can, uh, because it has image to image features within DALI-3, we upload a image, which is from your screenshots and then DALI-3 will be used to generate a similar looking images. And then that images will get passed to GPT-4 to come up with the uh, similar looking code that will generate a similar looking design. Now, it's an open source project. You can find it out over here, how you can set it up through Docker, through locally, you know, through Node, etc. Now, it has some examples that how are you generating NY Times, the uh, very good Instagram uh, clone video kind of a thing that you can find it out over here. Now, the good thing about it is that it also has a deployed uh, service that you can leverage to generate uh, the code. And it can see it says screenshot to code. So if you come here for the first time, you will see a few things, which is like this gear button for settings. You have to click that and then you have to upload your, uh, not upload, basically you have to uh, paste your API keys. Now you have to, uh, uh, like so you can, you can also upload a screenshot one API key only needed if you want to use the URLs directly instead of taking the screenshot yourself. Now you can also use that if you want to find out any app URL you know, directly to this uh, screenshot to code tool to generate the code. Then you can also do that. You can see I have tried both. Here is my open AI key, which has an access to DALI 3 and GPT-4 both. It says only stored in your browser, never stored on servers, overrides your ENB config. And please make sure that this is uh, checked in as well. Now it's an open source project. They don't steal your API keys, you know, in any way. So you are secure on that part. Now here is my keys and everything. And of course I will delete that. Now I'm going to upload a screenshot here. You can see I've uploaded a screenshot. It starts scanning the image and when it start generating over here on the interface that you'll see in a bit. You can see it says generating code. It started generating the code and you can find it out that it, it's giving you this uh, <laughs> such a cool kind of, not the exact same thing, but you know, it gives you something over here. And I can ask to change uh, that as well. We'll see that in a bit. But let's get the code first. So I'm going to click on code and then I'm going to co copy code. They also have an integration with code pane, which is a very famous kind of a playground for uh, uh, web technologies kind of a thing. And here I'm going to create an index HTML. So let's do that index HTML. I'm going to paste the code and let's quickly have a look. Uh, you can see uh, it has the title, it's you just tailwind, as I said, tailwind CSS has a body background color. Uh, you can change that background color after getting from color palette, etc. And you can see, right, it's fantastic. Uh, let's run it through uh, live server, open with live server. And then here you go, you get a very good looking, you know, uh, an interface where you have a header. In header, you have some sections like playground, train, example, docs, account, and then you have llama to playground. Let me ask for some changes. Can you make the uh, chat interface bigger? 
more height and width so let's make it explanatory here more height and width and let's see you know you can it's gonna update as well here now once you give that instruction you know it will uh, modify the code a bit and then it will give you a new piece of code that you're gonna use that uh, to see uh, the differences so let's use this code now I'm gonna copy code and come here and then paste and I'm just going to go back on my live server you can see it's now a bigger right uh, fantastic now here you can ask your question and that was the same image so if you look at the image that I uploaded I, I will show you the image so that was the image guys this was the image you can see maybe the color palette is something that it might be missing but that can be set right uh, we can set that manually or if you want you can give that uh, let me show that how you can do it quickly we have a color picker so uh, you have that image uploaded somewhere and you can take the color picker and you can do that so through color picker you can pick the color of that file through paint or whatever and you can also pass that There's, uh, you can make changes if you want now this is really cool this helps you you know augment in your coding if you are writing a lot of code you can use this to build a faster kind of an interface and then you can use on the functionalities or even the feature enhancement or at least it will give you a boilerplate to work with uh, very fast you can see that it generated something now you can uh, you, you can use any framework to uh, work on this further right so this is a very cool project i just wanted to cover it because if you want to generate code you know for your applications you know you can work on this so that's called a screenshot to code that will help you the front end and the ui ux developer to kind of you know come up with them good uh, new designs if they have something in mind they can just upload that image and get the code so the front end developer they do not have to worry about writing a lot of codes you know but that depends on you i will not recommend this if you are a beginner or uh, to be honest if you are a beginner you should learn how it works right but if you are an experienced developer a front-end developer or a react developer or whatever i think you can use that to accelerate your development uh, workflow that's what it is guys you know that that is available on github i'll give the link in description so you can go ahead and look at the project uh, that's a very beautiful a cool project you know sometimes we should create videos or uh, to give a shout out to this creator as well and I, I hope this helps you in your coding purposes you can download that as well you can see it from here you can also look at your desktop mobile view it's a responsive kind of an application not fully responsive but yeah you can make those changes as well now uh go ahead and try it out and let us know your thoughts uh, or the feedbacks in the comment box and if you like the project please give us out out and please give a give a star to this github you know please start this that's all uh, for this video guys uh, if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel if you like the video please hit the like icon thank you so much for watching see you in the next one